Hello, this is Bob Floyd with the Twin Cities Bicycling Club here with another tutorial on Ride with GPS this time on creation of GPX and TCX files for later use on your Garmin Edge GPS unit or bicycling computer. Uh, there is another video that has to do with copying the GPX and TCX files to the proper place on your Garmin computer. So that would follow this video. So anyway, today we're talking about creating those GPX and TCX files. The first problem, at least for me, is that I like to have verbose titles of my file, or of my route name. And so I have a, you know, I even have the year number in here, and it's White Bear Lake, and the length and I, I have a variety of these routes with different lengths on them maybe there's a 40 mile route and a 50 mile route and so when I go to put these onto my Garmin Edge unit the uh, the Garmin Edge truncates the files to just the first 15 characters and so I get things that I just can't understand which route is which and so uh, the way to get around that and still keep verbose titles is to temporarily change the file name and then change it back again later to the original. Now, I just as a note here, if you were to to uh, save this and it, it would save as a very long file name dot gpx for instance, and if you just rename that file name and upload it to your Garmin well, that doesn't work because this long, verbose file name is embedded within the file. And so, uh, same problem. Uh, those that are more advanced computer types can use a, a uh, text editor to uh, go into that file and, and edit the name. And in a TCX file, that's in two places. In a GPX file, it's only one. But anyway, that's a different topic. So I'm going to show you how to temporarily change the name of the file, then save the, the GPX and TCX files. You only need one, you just have to decide which one it is you want. So the, uh, we'll start here by changing the name. I'm in view mode. I click on the name and I'm going to copy that name onto my clipboard. So I'm going to highlight, do Control C. Maybe it's Option C for Mac users, something like that. And so now I have a copy of it on my clipboard, and I'm ready to edit the name. So I'm just going to do KK WBL 32.3. That'll be the new name, at least temporarily. Now I'll go over to the export, and when you export to TCX, it's a good format for it. It's the only turn by turn for an Edge 500 or 510 Garmin, but probably nobody using those computers will use it anyway. It does give two turn by turn directions or navigation on an 800 on up. 800 edge on up and it can also give warnings as the turn approaches that's this number in reality 30 is meters is more like five or eight meters but uh, if you use a number much bigger the the Garmin 800s have some trouble placing the turn arrow so I 30 is not a bad number anyway so we'll export the TCX or create the TCX. I'm going to download it to my desktop. And I've been practicing this video for a while so you can see it's, it's it was already there. Anyway, uh, now I'll move on to the GPX. Now GPX route is not useful you can use this help system to basically see what I have been telling, some of what I've been telling you. For the GPX track, 
these three things are not really needed. I don't even know what the first two do. And uh, what happens with a GPX file is that it gives you a, a track, just a line on the map. And that's not bad. I, I happen to like that just fine. But it, and it, it will give you turn by turn on, some of the, on most of the edge units, but it won't say the street name. Anyway, uh, GPX's track is pretty good for most uses, but suit yourself. So I'll just follow through and save this onto my desktop. And now the last thing, this is something you don't want to forget, is go back and change the name back to what it originally was. So I'm going to highlight and paste hit return and everything's back to the way it was. So anyway to get the files onto your bike computer see the next video. Bye now.